Right, but if you hit stop again, then it will then it will stop it. Don't just hit record again because then we might be recording. Yeah, still. he hit stop. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we're definitely not recording. It's definitely not recording. Okay. All right. Well, so I this hope is, so. <laughs> so this we can just talk freely about what we're going to do for the episode. Okay. Yes. And even worst case scenario, let's say that I have actually started recording it. Yeah. Well, we'd be under no obligation to put this up. That's true. Well, I actually have a pretty tight schedule this evening. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I set up that auto upload thing as well, which I thought was a cool program, but it does mean that whatever we record, record mm. for sort of just under or just over an hour, yeah. it will go up. Okay. Well, it's good we're not recording then. Yeah. For sure. I'm not going to look at the machine. Yeah, don't. I'm not going to look at it either, but I'm definite that it's not recording. I'm looking at it, but I don't understand how it works. So, I, I can't help. Okay, do you guys want to come up with, let's say it is recording. Yeah. Do you guys want to come up with a funny dare for me? Something that <laughs> I have to dare? do if I'm mean? wrong about this and it is recording. What's a, what's a funny Ooh. dare that I, that I could do? Let that me just I could look at my bracelet that says WWTJBD. Yes. Which is what would the jackass boys do? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. cool. What I always refer to. Now, I'm going to punch you in the nuts. <laughs> And then you're going to think about what the jackass yeah, boys yeah. would do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't. Why did we? Oh, uh, yeah. Because I was away for the 200th. Yeah. 204. We like jokingly yeah. said will be the big one. Yes. Well, and we're like, what? It, it'd be three or four days before. It'll be the or- day before the fourth. Because yeah, yes. the fourth anniversary. Yes. Of the podcast. Yeah. So I guess it is four years. Yeah. We're and- a, we're a four year old. <laughs> Yeah, and I hate you. I'm never going to talk to you again. I'm hungry. I love you. <laughs> oh, okay. I believe that's the behavior of a four year old. Is right. they start getting to the point where they're like, "I'm running away." I oh, they're in kindergarten. That's what right? all the four year olds say to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running away right now. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that's just is that just before kinder? Uh, is it, what when do you start school? Six. Yeah. Okay. I think five. Don't you? Mm. You start school when you're five, turn six in the first prep. Do you? That okay. seems young to maybe, be getting those left-wing maybe, ideas maybe. that schools try and teach these days. I think I started school a year early, maybe. Huh. I don't know. They could. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Not by accident. No, I know. But like, they don't go like, well, I reckon this kid will be smart. We have no way of knowing yet, but let's just get him going early. Yeah. I have a, we have a family friend who, who whose kids are roughly my age. Mm, and my yeah. mum talks about when they were starting school, they both got put in. They were both young for their year. Like right. their mum put them into school early because she's with both of them. She's like, oh, they're a genius. They're both just a mum who's like mm. too into her kids and yeah. like their potential and everything. And mum's like, really? They're both they're both geniuses. <laughs> what are the? They're both yeah. the exact same level of genius. He knows at age four. He only drools when I put his bib on. <laughs> <laughs> he that's smart. The it's protection's a, down. A look in his eyes that says, yeah. "I know calculus." Yeah. Mm. He he. When I said what six plus four, he rolled over and screamed <laughs> ten times. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that doesn't happen by accident. Did you have many kids in your year that were young yes. for the year? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the rest of the question? Sorry. <laughs> um, did you have many kids in your year level who were young for their year? Because I, I remember, I remember it for whatever reason it always being very clear. Yeah. Like everyone kind of knew. Right. You know, well, yeah, age really matters at that time. Totally. Yeah. 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 And forever, I guess. I'm thirty soon. Yeah. Um, the like very soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, is that this weekend? Yeah. That's because – so soon. when we start and the what, episode – what grade are you in now? <laughs> I am hoping to go on to four next year. Right, okay. But I've forgotten yes. where my school is, Uh-oh. so I haven't been in a while. <laughs> right. Because when we actually are recording, yeah. we've got to work out now what we're going to do on the episode for this occasion yeah. to mark the 204th episode of Filthy Casual. We stupidly yes. said it would be a spectacular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Did we, we ever use the phrase spectacular? I've had the phrase spectacular in my head <laughs> since we talked about it. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like at some point we said a 204th episode spe- spectacular. We said we'd do something. Yeah. 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 Never I, backed ourselves into a corner. The full sentence was spectacular failure. Right. right. So we've always got that as a way out. Okay. 
I'm happy to do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what we're going to do, but I think we're a good chance of pulling that off. Yes. <laughs> well, because like I could, we could do a normal episode. I've been playing Borderlands 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some news. Uh. Or we could just save that for a week and do like some gimmick episode. Uh, People yeah. love gimmicks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they loved that E3 episode we did. Uh-huh. It was all made up. Split right down the middle of people loving it and people fucking loving it. Yes. <laughs> well, one idea I had was that because the history of this show is intrinsically linked to the birthday of Adam Knox. Yes. Yeah. So it's your birthday quite soon. Do you want around, to, around this around time. This time. I don't want anyone hacking into my yeah. details. <laughs> Are your passwords all your birthday? Because no. that's so but just stupid. A lot of the time, <laughs> if you, you're, it's linked to your identity. That Like if you call a place up, they'll just go like, and what's your date of birth to oh, confirm yeah. this? Yeah. And any cunt with you on Facebook can find that out. That's, that's true. So yeah. it's insane for people to ask that. Yeah. Someone... So someone trying to hack y- you, yeah. they call up, they're like, I'm Adam Knox, and they're like, what's your date of birth? And they're like, that's sort of roughly around now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I forget exactly. I don't want to boast because if I say the date, then, you know, if it's today, you'd feel obligated to say happy birthday. And I don't want to mm. put that kind of pressure on you. I think mm. I've said my birthday before, but so as long as I don't say like my first dog's name, which yeah. I probably said, and my mum's maiden name, yes. which I probably said. Why would I'm you have fine. said your mum's maiden name? Ah, uh, you run out of content <laughs> for podcasds. So, is like, at fu- some is it a point, funny name? at some point, you just got to do like gimmick shows and shit like that. Yeah. So, what should what should our big gimmick <laughs> that be? be? That would be a good episode of the show. We all give out our birth dates, <laughs> first dog's name, and maiden mother's maiden names. Yeah. So just really, really play Russian roulette on the pod. Oh, whoever gets hacked first yeah. loses. <laughs> That's I, not bad. It wouldn't be that hard to find out that stuff. I reckon. No, I of think course not. True. But that's yeah. I was going to say that's why you don't make your password that. But you're right. If you call in a bank or something. Yeah. The security questions. I had to. F- I had to create a new account on some website the other day, and it was. I was amazed that those are still the security questions that yeah. come up. The most entry level stuff that anyone could know about you without mm. needing to do any kind of research. Mm. It was pretty wild stuff. Yeah. Uh, like and stuff that is a matter of public record. Mm. Yeah, anyway, that's true. What were you going to b- relate to Knox's birthday? Well, maybe we could if we if we didn't want to keep it video games. You know, if we wanted to sort of you know focus more on the the timeline of the show, right? Because like I said, the beginning of the show is linked to Adam Knox's birthday mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it was around that time that we started recording. I think it was on that day. Yes. Can we go back through and can we hear some of the classic Adam Knox birthdays? Give us your f- give us your favorite birthdays you've ever had. Oh, uh, that'd be a short episode. <laughs> I, I'm not into birthdays. You're not a you're no, not a birthday I'm fan. Not a big birthday neither am I. Mm. Neither am I. Like, uh, yeah, uh, the the ideal birthday for me is having nothing to do mm-hmm. and being alone for the day. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, I yeah. like I people who put that. themselves through the stress of like I'm throwing a big party and da da da. Mm. Oh, come on, it is stressful. I I used to have like a lot of parties growing up. I think like we had a house that was conducive to parties, big house, big barn out the back and stuff. Keg. Keg. Yeah. Uh pole. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all the party stuff. But I <laughs> a house that is conducive to parties. <laughs> what a clinical way of describing it. And I guess very tolerant parents. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like cool parents. Um but I always stressed out that no one would come. People would yeah. come and it was mm-hmm. it was always fun. But there's, I think, an age you get to where it's like, I can't risk it. Yeah. I cannot risk like f- only a few people coming even. Well, it's well, interesting you bring that up because I had a birthday the other week and neither of you came. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I had a valid reason. I, I flagged ages in advance that I wouldn't probably be there because of severe jet lag of oh, getting yeah, back, I think, that day or the day before. Yeah. What was your reason, Ben? I was hungover <laughs> <laughs> going out the night before. <laughs> well, to be fair, the party was at 7 a.m. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> This ha- happened to me again last weekend. I went out on a Saturday. Yeah. I was hung over till a, a, a 8 p.m. the next day. Nice. Yeah. That, that's a fucking birthday thing. It's because I'm old. Yeah. It's depressing. I think we should do something video gamey, though, for a big spectacular. Just quickly, best birthday you've ever had. Quickly. I genuinely don't have one to give you. Really? That's why I dodged the question. Maybe this year. Don't think that yeah. you, I, we just got off track. <laughs> yeah. I deliberately swerved the conversation away from answering that question. Like, my best birthday would have been, like, one or two. You know, like, when everyone's there, there's sure. yeah, that's presents true. and All shit. Right. I'm going to make it my mission this year. I'm going to make this <laughs> the best doggone birthday you've ever no, had. No, but that, that will make it yeah, the worst. Exactly. I'm coming around first thing in the morning, staking a blowjob. <laughs> I, 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 100% getting set on fire. 
inspired by like a well-meaning display that you're yes. doing or something. I'm going to get whacked in the head with a ladder you're using to put up bunting. Yeah. I'm going to be killed by this birthday thing. Wow, I'm really going all out. I got you I'm your favorite my own ladder. <laughs> yeah. You'll have like misunderstood something I've said in the past and be like, I got you what you wanted, a balcony weakening. <laughs> And then I'll go out there and it'll go punk and it'll fall. Well, it's the thought that counts. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. So thank you for killing me. <laughs> Honestly, that would be the best. Part. Right, I've, nah, given you a, really. I've given you a ticket out of this existence. Yeah. Oh, What do I you also, get the man who has everything? I also have a huge amount of credits in the bank, Tommy, for going to D- Disneyland last year for your birthday. You have co- – oh, right, right, right. In, in that, that's country. very true. Yeah. <laughs> That is true. Thank you. That was actually that was probably the yeah, best birthday. It was I've so had. Yeah. hard for me to go to Disneyland. <laughs> that was a you really <laughs> owe me for enjoying <laughs> the happiest place on earth. You, you joke, but it was an extremely hot day, yeah. and there was one point where we were lining up to go on a ride, and the line for the ride was very long, and it was in the sun, mm-hmm. like right in the sun, no shade. And Ben goes. I'm just going to go wait inside somewhere while you guys go on this ride. Yeah. So it was actually pretty hard for if it's us. Too, yeah. If it's too hot at Disneyland, you got to go stand near Pluto, the coldest uh, one. Isn't <laughs> Neptune the cold one? Surely Pluto's colder. <laughs> I guess it's further away from the sun. Surely it's colder. If but it's hotter, there's another sun. Oh, yes. Uh, so, yeah, no birthdays. No birthdays. Let's do okay. a video game thing. I'll cross that, that off the big whiteboard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that didn't sound like a whiteboard eraser <laughs> at all. <laughs> he said he'd cross it off as well. He wasn't going to erase it. That's what I'm going to get Adam for his birthday one of those new silent whiteboard erasers. Ooh. Mm. We did that one once where we did like the 2002 game of the year. Mm. We could do that same thing for 2004. Like, or like, oh, yeah. what would be. The, what's the opposite of four? What's backwards? <laughs> what's oh, backwards four? St- I guess it would be 2009. What? No, no, it wouldn't. 2011. It'd be 2009 if you didn't know how to fucking count. We started in 2015. Yeah. That would be four years before when we started. Oh. It would be 2011. Like a palindrome. Y- yeah, sure. <laughs> maybe. Um, so what if Hey, what do you of- call a friend who's in a bicycle... Uh, uh, racing indoor thing. Don't know. A pal in Drome. Uh, That's what okay. you call him. Okay. And then he's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. you, and you're standing over the other side of the thing, and you're like, "Pal, a pal in Drome." <laughs> he's like, in. "I can't. I'm riding a bike in the Olympics. <laughs> I can't do it." That happens every four years. The Olympics. The Olympics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's true. review every Mario and Sonic Olympics. Game. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, They're all I'd bad. <laughs> if if we were like deep into being a YouTube channel, which clearly we're not, <laughs> but we are going to do more YouTube. Stuff still, I'm justifying to no one listening because we're not recording. Yeah, um, I th- the what the YouTube channels that just find like bad game and go like we're playing all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like we got to do something. Everyone else has played the big ones. Yeah, I can't compete with Minecraft, but maybe if we're the only ones playing Jurassic Park for the Mega Drive, mm. then we're fine. Well, speaking of birthdays, I got given the. Uh, what what Olympics would it have been? Must have been eight years ago. Mm. Um, which the Mario one was and it? Sonic. It was on the way. But no, I mean which Olympics? <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to work out. So <laughs> was Wii it era. Rio? Okay. London? Was it? Yeah, w- Beijing London, it must have been right. Or Beijing? I could tell you every Olympics in order backwards. Okay. Ritz. <laughs> Ritz. Uh, it was. Let me look. Um, what was the most? Uh, Tokyo was next year. Rio yeah. was the Rio previous the one. previous one. London the previous one. Shanghai the previous one. 2004 was Athens. You said Beijing. What did I say? <laughs> Shanghai. Oh, yeah, Beijing. Sorry. I'd already gone out to Athens. Okay. Where was the 2004 one? The invention 2000? of the Olympics. Yeah. In Athens. And the, so I'm at the beginning now. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, but we could do like a video Beijing. games Olympics. Beijing. Beijing? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I got given that as a present. And it was a great, you know, friends going, hey, he likes video games. He likes Mario. Mm-hmm. But like that specific game, it's like, you know, you touched at the, the thought and everything, but it's like... Oh, you picked big old swing and miss you here, picked guys. the only bad Mario game. <laughs> so it seems as though you're saying that the thought isn't the thing that counts <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I've really flipped on my position. <laughs> what if we did like a video games f- themed game for every Olympic sport? <laughs> a video game themed game. No, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, no, I'll, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> like we play a game on the podcast. Okay. Oh, yes. But it's video game themed. So, okay. but it's also one for every one of the 
uh, Olympic. So we try. You're and gonna sports. need to give me an example. So for I will, the I'm looking sports, up the Olympic sports. We try and think what's a game that is like, like a simile for that sport in the Olympics. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Exactly. I'm trying to help. No, but you. not a ga- not a video game. Oh we God. play a, a, a real life game. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll give you an example, and I can fucking <laughs> find out. Why what wouldn't the we just do are. the sport in question? Because we're not fucking doing a sports podcast, idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Well, well, of course it's because of that. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Um, I'm so excited to hear what this actually means. (laughs) These are all the sports. You pick one. I'll read them all of the Summer Olympics. Fencing. No, but I'll read them all. I was going to say fencing too. Were you really? Yeah, I genuinely was. All right, well, fencing would be that you're one against another person in fencing, right? And it's big point outs. So I guess... um, We'd roll up a big piece of cardboard or paper, yes, like a fencing thing, and inside of it would be a video games poster, right? And yes. you've got to poke it in the oh, other person's yes. face, yes. and whoever can get a look inside of the tube <laughs> to figure out what video games poster it is first wins. I don't mind that. Okay, do you but see you're what also I mean? trying to hit him. Ah, uh, yeah, if you want. Okay, there's no rules around that. Yeah, okay. okay. Like you can piss on them if you want. There's no, there's not enough. How? There's no rule book. What do, what do you mean? Those are, those those are, are the no only rules. two bits of contact you're allowed to have with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hitting them with the cardboard or pissing on them. <laughs> uh, okay. Archery. Okay. Um, so what, about, what about? Oh wait, I was going to make a joke. Hmm. I realized it is the point of the joke in Monkey Island: offencing. Yeah, like offence. Uh huh. I just Causing got it. offense. I just got it twenty years later. Well, they call do they call it insult sword fighting? Yeah, right. But uh, offensing, offense, surely is where it's yeah, come from. I guess so. Fuck. Damn, that okay. monkey was a pretty clever monkey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the second <laughs> slowest idiot I've ever seen. Uh, archery, artistic swimming, athletics, badminton, basketball, beach volleyball, boxing, canoe, slalom. Ooh. Mm. It sounds like I mispronounced that one, but I haven't. <laughs> Canoe, sprint, cycling, BMX, cycling, mountain bike, cycling, road, cycling, track. There's a lot of cycle. Oh, man, yeah. this is boring. What I don't about do beach this volleyball? One. Okay, beach volleyball. What would you have for that? Um, so you have to... Okay, in the distance, over the other side of like a fence on the yeah, beach, yes. is me with two big old boobs that they're making me show for some reason in in my uniform. Oh, Even yeah. though it's an Olympic sport, they're making me wear this very revealing uh-huh. uniform. Yes. Yeah. And tattooed on each of my breasts. <laughs> your, your big old jubblies. <laughs> yes. On my, uh, my fun bags, yeah, as yeah, I believe yeah. they're dirty pillows. called now. <laughs> uh, is, yeah, there's tattooed on there. Yes. Um, <laughs> Two video game characters, one on each one. Yes. But I'm quite far away and I'm knocking a volleyball in the air right. in my bizarrely revealing outfit. Yeah. Yes. So the bazoombas are just so my jiggling around in the in the Yeah, my juggalos gravity. are going wild. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Uh so old uh fucking what are the fucking ICP people's names? Um Violent Violent J J Shaggy and Silent Shaggy. Bob <laughs> are on each uh, each of my boobs and yeah there's like characters Fuck. tattooed there and you got to squint and see figure out what they are and try and work and most of this is an eye test yeah yes. seems like it and also yeah then if you're squinting and you can see clearly enough to work out you know what the characters are you're yeah. also getting a sweet resort of oh. re- rewards hey, and you're getting a real look at my um. And you're still Tumblers. you in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But All I've right. like got you know whatever prosthetics. I would lose. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to say my guess because I'd be too busy going awooga. <laughs> 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 That's how I cheat. My eyeballs pop out of my head <laughs> like that cartoon wolf, and that, that allows me to see just that little bit further. But then when right. you try and answer, your your tongue, answer yeah, gets yeah, caught your on your rolls. massive yeah. tongue. <laughs> Uh, so, for example, there's judo as well, uh-huh. and you'd have to wrestle each other to the ground. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, that's slow down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's just regular judo yeah, so where does far. does this deviate? But on the ground <laughs> is one of those large uh, adaptive controllers for the oh, Xbox. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And you've got to wrestle your partner onto the button you need to press oh. to win a video game that's on the TV. Okay. I like that. Yeah, okay. Honestly, whoever came comes up with games for like the Price is Right and shit, mm. fucking watch out because I'm coming for your job. <laughs> yes. So it's got to be, but the game that you're using that controller for has to be a game that you can win with just one button push. Or like maybe, maybe three. Maybe you're playing, okay, maybe you're playing 
a really simple song in Guitar Hero. Exactly. You've just got to achieve <laughs> like a small goal. <laughs> yeah. And maybe it is a ground yeah. that you're pinning someone onto the yeah. And it might not key. be literally win this game. It might just be like, hey, go to the settings menu with <laughs> right. with these. Like uh, you've yeah, just got okay. a small task yeah. that you've yeah, got to yeah, achieve. Yeah, yeah, but the hard goal, part yeah. is beating your partner because you got you beat them mentally before you even step into the ring. Yes. Mm. Um That's cool. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Handball. You gotta jack me off. <laughs> First one, who the quickest amount of time uh, to make me come. Yep. Or a handball loses. could be. <laughs> and you could just, be like that game where you have to keep your hand on a car and you if the last one to take their hand off wins the car. Right, right. but it's a ball. It's a ball. And it's someone else's ball. Yes. And they want it back. Yes. <laughs> and for it to be vaguely video game themed, mm. the person's dressed as Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know, stuff like that. So we could do the Olympics. So we and we do that for a whole episode, I guess. But it wouldn't really like we'd have to film it and shit. We'd have to figure it out yeah. well in advance. Yeah, because it's clearly way too complicated to do. Oh, so you're saying the episode would be just us doing all these things? So we'd go, yeah. we'd yeah, go through yeah, all yeah. the sports, video yeah. game Olympics, yeah. video game Olympics. That's pretty good. But I I do see what you're saying. It's kind of more of a visual medium, especially mm. if we haven't given the listeners any context for what we're doing, and they just listen yes. to a podcast where we're going. Ugh. And if yeah, it's got yeah. me pinned on the controller. <laughs> <laughs> if most of the tasks are eyesight related as well. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that translates. But I just, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, no Olympics. That's like a four-year base thing as well. Okay. Um, We're probably going to miss the boat on it tying into, I mean, we could, we could work on it and do it parallel to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Sure. Right. Got a bit of time. I think there's enough holes in it though that it's not worth even floating. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. What about... We review the best 204 games of all time out of a list of 500. Is that how many games have come out? Surely it should be out of a list of... How many games are there, do you reckon? Ooh. How many ever? Yeah. I wonder if that's Googleable. Why don't we Google? just try and figure it out without Googling it? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll take a while. It's probably about... I'm going to guess like... 30,000. I was going to say 30,000 as well. Yeah. Yeah, ar- around that? I reckon there's about 3,000 ones that are worth playing. Yeah. And one in 10 is good. But then, nah, because think of all the fucking like web, like flash games and shareware. Oh, shit, and but they don't count. It has to be a release. Software, yeah, that's okay. actually. Yeah. It has, to be, it has to like be listed in the Wikipedia list of games released. That I year. guess. Or like, yeah, like something like that. Yeah. There's got to be some sort of stipulation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. How many yeah, are there? So someone's asked on that website, Quora. Yeah. Um, how many video you should ask a Quora this? question. How do you pronounce Quora? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So th- this answer from March the 25th, 2017. Keep in mind, a couple of years yeah. ago. And this is for how many video games exist. Yeah, how many video games exist. This is this guy's attempt at answering it. Okay. Yeah. Currently, Steam has 14,084 downloadable games. Uplay currently has 54. GOG.com has 1,914. Oh, yeah. Battle.net has 18. Battle.net really dragging their But they feet. only have Blizzard games. Yeah. And I guess they had like maybe Destiny 2 by then. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Hearthstone. I didn't know what that Would was. Would that yeah. be on there? Yeah. PlayStation 4, 1,545. Xbox oh. One, 1,115. Wii U, 737. Understandably, there will be some overlap, not to mention games that are no longer on the market. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a shitload. <laughs> Thanks, John. Oh, <laughs> fucking John. Thanks for weighing in. I reckon 15,000 on Steam, double that. Mm. There you go. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, hang on. As of May 15th, 2017, Moby Games has catalogued 63,762 Ooh, video games released since 1950, beginning with Bertie the Brain, an early computer game of Tic-Tac-Toe. Okay. Why call fucking <laughs> Tic-Tac-Toe <laughs> yeah. Bertie the Brain? Yeah. Yeah. There's no other games that exist yeah. and they're like, no, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We don't want to be sued by the makers of Tic Tac Toe. I don't know. We're on a new platform here. We need a mascot. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably exactly what it was. Um, well, Polygon made a list of 500 and I skipped to the 204th. Okay, we could just read that. Yeah. What's number 204? Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. That's too low. You that, reckon? That should be in the top 100. The top 50. Oh. Not, 50. All right, we can't do this. It'll be. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna yeah. get angry. We'll just disagree. What's 203? Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, okay. It's probably well placed. <sighs> Apparently, Bushido Blade Two is better than both of those games. That's written by a fake person. That's uh, I've coined a term. Mm. Fake 
lettering. <laughs> lettering? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of a, a synonym for news. Uh, what's the top five in the polygon? Yeah. We'll see if it's worth Well, i got to go to the next entry in the series, 200, and 200 to, to 101. Oh, they broke these up. Yeah, they really broke them up. Smart. But if we, do, the content. if we do top 204 games, yes. like we, we would have to sit down and fucking plan that like we would have to do so much thinking about what games we like so yeah that's true we'd go through their list and what we're getting rid of what 203 (laughs) no wait what is it it's it was 500 and we were going to go from 204 down or or just come up with our own 204 i thought it was like we picked the best 204 out of their 500 a process whereby we're sitting down and trying to get rid of 296? Yeah. That's yes. the strangest interpretation of what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, because I also <laughs> thought uh, the other alternative is we just come up with our own favourite 204 games yeah. by consensus. Right. Yeah. I don't know if that'd fill up an hour, though. Yeah, it would. <laughs> hey, it would. It'd also fill up a month of preparation. Yeah. What's, right, what's guys, the top You guys five? get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, top five. According to polygon.com. Yeah. Number five. Pokemon Red and Blue. Well, they, they are. no, that's not even the best Pokemon game. What's the best Pokemon game? Gold and Silver. I've not played it. It's just flat out better than that. And like, oh, I guess it depends if you're talking about context and history. I think few games tr- change the course of history the yeah. way Pokemon Red and Blue sure. did. If you're looking at it from the point of view of a fucking book, then <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but bunch, I'm a person. Bunch of fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Red and Blue 5. Uh, Doom, the original Doom. So it's clearly this is this a is a legacy yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, three, right, well, one's gonna be. Oh yeah, you can you can guess. Uh, one's gonna like, be like guess three two Pac Man yeah. or some shit. G- give me your three two ones. Oh, fuck. both of you. Um, oh, okay. Um, what, what you think it is? I don't know about the order, mm. but Super Mario Brothers, um, Tetris, oh, yeah, shit. and I don't know Grand Theft Auto three. That's the first 3D one, isn't it? All right, okay. Knox, give me your three. Well, what year is this from? This article. Yeah. Um, Does it say there? It will, if I can find maybe some uh, comments. When are the comments from? Uh, 1987. Also from 2017. Okay. Oh, All recent. our reference points are from 2017. So I'm going to guess that uh, Breath of the Wild isn't in there, but it could be Tetris as well. I reckon that's a good one. You've both got Tetris correct. Yeah, Tetris okay, is definitely in there. Yeah. Well, you just told me that it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Breath of the Wild isn't in there. You are correct. Uh, um, I was going to say, that wouldn't have surprised me because if assuming that it's relatively recent after it's yeah, come out yeah. and it's really got that new car smell on it and they're like, exactly nah, mm-hmm. best of all time. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh fuck! I don't know why I'm so scared of getting this wrong. <laughs> There's nothing at stake. <laughs> fuck! Super Mario Brothers wasn't a bad shot, but I don't reckon it'll be in there. What was keeping in mind that they're they're clearly this is legacy for them. What but else did you say, Tommy? Uh oh, Grand Theft Auto Three. Oh yeah, that's, right. that's not in there. Um, You're not even looking at the list Ben, put me out of my misery I'm sure that's not in there I want Nox to fucking guess Oh, okay uh, all right. Guess um, two other games Oh, fuck oh, This is why we can't do 204 <laughs> I can't think of two <laughs> oh, fucking Think of two or four What would be in there? Uh, probably they would go World of Warcraft And what? Yeah, if we're talking big impact things Okay And fucking So desperate to not guess the same thing as me Dota yeah. 2 the Legend of Zelda The comes, first one Yes comes, Worst one Comes in at number three Fuck off <laughs> And coming in at number two Super Mario Brothers Three Three ah, Yes Okay Yes I mean that But that is all over the place Because you would think So they're clearly just going You know Cultural context Legacy Yep So that's why Zelda 1 is in there So then yeah. if you want to follow That same logic well, then it should be Mario. But one. I guess you could. And you you're could, not just going like the best one because if you go in the best Zelda, then you'd say Ocarina of Time. Sure. Or you'd but say, if, if you're sure. ranking them against both, where like Doom 2 is better than Doom 1, mm. but not enough that it overcompensates for its, for its legacy, legacy yeah. and its cultural relevance. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers 3 is so much better than 1. That's a good point. That it yeah. counteracts that. Yep. I think that's fair. Yeah. Well, yeah, but isn't Zelda 1 like. 
borderline unplayable these days. I don't like it. I played it maybe four years ago, roughly. Mm -hmm. And Mm. uh, there were just bits that were confusing and very obtuse now. But it is still the template for what all those types of games are. Whereas I think Mario 1 still slaps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, but not as much as 3. Yeah, 3 is so much better. And every platformer is in the style of 3 rather than 1 now. And Tetris yeah. was number one, which we've often said. It's like, well, it's the perfect yeah. game. There's no way. I to mean, but that's it. like saying water is the best drink. It is. It is. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, Do you speaking think so? of which, I'm going to indulge right now. Okay. Well, yeah. Obviously, that would take too long to do yeah. that one. Yeah. <clears throat> just quickly, what's what's their 500? What's just scraping in? Great yeah. question. <laughs> what's the one where they went? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, I guess. But this will also be the first impression everyone gets of this. Of this article. list, yeah. yeah. Of this, this list is of, what of our editorial people, style. Yeah. This is what makes people decide whether to keep reading or not. Yeah, it's got to be a fucking interesting one. All right, all right. Let's have go. a punt. Yeah, and this yes. is super hard. Damn. But uh, it's I'm gonna also going to have a punt. I haven't loaded it yet. Okay, it's right. going to be something like <clears throat> Psychonauts or uh, <laughs> like a small. Like, uh, like snake on the mobile phone or oh. something. Ooh. Interesting, because it has to be. Yeah, it's a it's a good little way for them to talk about the list at the start, justify yeah. it. But I don't think they're that smart. Or it'll be like Sewer Shark, <laughs> and they'll be like, "This is a bad game, but here's its cultural relevance." Or I mean, Night 500. Trap. Um, five hundred. Maybe like, maybe like a. What was the first? Elder Scrolls game? Daggerfall? Uh, Arena was the first one. Daggerfall was the second. Uh, I'm going to go with Daggerfall because it's the first one I thought of. Yeah. Okay. Like an That's okay not a bad entry in, in a good franchise. And it'll have like some historical explaining. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Elite. Okay. Conquers. Thanks for the uh, compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Conquers bad fur day. Oh, that's a left field. Ooh, swing I know. The- All right. Because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't deserve to be too, but I can see them being like, Oh, a bit of a change of pace for yep. Rare and sort of their swan song on the mm. 64. and All our guesses perfectly encapsulate our own personalities. Totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 500 is... Croc. 300, the video game. <laughs> Ball Blazer. What the right. hell is that? On the Atari. Uh, okay. <sighs> 1984, Atari 8-bit. Ball Blazer pushed every inch of the Atari 400 and 800 farther than anyone knew they could go. A one-on-one sports game combining elements of basketball and soccer, though it wasn't based on a real sport per se. Yeah, because it's based yeah. on the elements of basketball and soccer. Ball Blazer was a trailblazer in early sports uh, sims. Don't they play Ball Blazer in uh, Canada? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the they sims. just wanted to use it in early sports sims. Oh. With a realistic approach to gameplay and physics. Sure. Did they use it because they also could use the word trailblazer in the description? Maybe. And uh, that's like, that is the, the weird left field thing where you're like, oh, damn, this list is going to be crazy. Yeah, these people know video games because yeah. I'd never even heard of that ball one. Ballblazer. She's a real ballblazer. Oh, uh, yeah, she's a real fucking ballblazer. What about this? Up. Maybe yeah. this is too easy, but mm. um, I'm, I'm enjoying playing games. Like with you guys instead okay. of working out what we're going to do on this episode. So what about okay. this? Yeah. So we started four years ago. Yes. We started the pod in 2015. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now I've just Googled best games 2015. <laughs> and it's just done that thing okay. where Google just brings up. You oh, know, sure. Yeah. F- you know, a, a uh, row of things. So without like going. A weird like mis- mishmash. Of... No, it's not weird. Oh, it's okay. not a okay. mishmash. It is gettable. But what do okay. you think are the first five? I, they clearly are ranked by. Actual popularity, I reckon. Okay. So they're not. There's not like insane ones. Here. Oh, there's. No, actually, no. They're. All, I think they all make sense. Okay. So what do you think are in the far? Are in the yeah, the five. The Most Google popular things. games. Of I put in best games 2015. Okay. okay. So that probably says more about uh, critical. I I don't know how Google works this. And this right. is the year that we started this podcast. Yes. yes. Yep. Best games of that year. Metal Gear Solid Five, Fallout Four. Um, Super Mario Maker. Um, what else? Fuck it. The Witcher 3. And one more in 2015. Fuck came out in 2015. I can't. I don't know. We talked about Man Max, but I don't reckon it'd be in there, but that'd nah. be there for you. That's a cult classic. Cult I will classic. say, <laughs> you've got three of them so far. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Fallout 4 and uh, the ones that I guessed. <laughs> yeah. 
No, you said Mario the ones internet that hate <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Mario Maker is a great game. It is good, but I think because it just has been a Wii U thing. It was. Was there a Halo game. game out that year? There was, but it was bad. Uh, Halo Five Guardians. Right. Okay. But it might be in there still. I actually, to be fair, I think the I think the other two are kind of hard to get. Maybe. Okay. Well, they're not like right up the top of the dome. I don't think. Right up the top of my dome. Ba 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 Oh, that makes sense. That's still yeah. going. It makes sense when you see it, yeah. but yeah. why would you think of that as being that year if you... I'd have thought yeah, Bloodborne was 2014 too, so I'm yeah. wrong. <laughs> right. I'll admit that for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. I've been, I, I was oh, wrong about something. I wish we were recording then. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, a, not a... I mean, I guess those two... Those, those top two are huge. Yeah. But then after that five, there's like a big drop off of, you know... Big stuff. I remember mm. the first couple of years. Uh, 2015 was when games started to sort of come out a little bit more. But like right. first couple of years of this most recent generation that's nearly over. Yeah. Were pretty trickly. Yeah. So not a lot of stuff coming out. That's actually a good point. This is near the end of this console generation. Yep. Could look back on the consoles that were. The games of the generation. Mm. Um, well, what do you think? Maybe we could do this on the end. What do you think will be happening four years from now? Where will we be at? So, oh boy. So the the next co- so the next PlayStation and Xbox are out next year? Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Roughly next year. Mm-hmm. So they'll, so be they'll like have been out by like 3 old. years. Yeah. Yeah. So might even be starting to look at a successor to the Switch. I reckon. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, we could do a whole po- like e- episode of speculating what the next <laughs> the <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> thing would be. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, imagine yeah. doing that on this podcast. <laughs> that's going to be that's going to be huge for us when there's a new <laughs> code name in the mix <laughs> oh, that we yes. can just upset and some new patents being filed yeah. out that we can just yeah. obsess on for months yeah. on end. Is this actually a photo or has someone digitally <laughs> made this? Is this a mock up? Someone in retail has leaked it. They weren't meant to. They yeah. put it on the shelves early. The case makers have made these <laughs> cases. We've got to try and before there's been even any, like if we started it now, before yes. there's even been any public rumblings about there being a successor to the Switch, mm-hmm. we pitch the new code name. Pitch the and Switch. <laughs> pitch the Switch. What about the Nintendo Panther? Well, because they. what have their other code names <laughs> been? Dolphin, Dolphin was GameCube. Yep. Uh, Revolution was the Wii. Mm-hmm. GameCube was also StarCube for a bit. Right. Uh, Wii U, I don't even remember if that had one. The 64 was the Ultra 64 at one That's point. right. Yes. It was the was Ultra a- 64. And also there was another name for it that I can't remember. Because well, Ultra 64 is like a working title. It wasn't a code name, was that it? That was like going to be its name. Yeah. 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 But there was another one even before that of right. like the Nintendo something. Oh, here we go. Blue Harvest? <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. The Family Guy episode. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nintendo 64, Project Reality. That's the one. Project, Project Reality, Reality is fucking sick. Yes. If we if we had our time again, I'd say that's what we should call the podcast. <laughs> Project Reality. Yeah, I like a that podcast a lot. about video games. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Yeah. Um, there must be a Project Reality app. <laughs> yeah. Project Reality is so sick. That's cool. That'd be the name of some VR company yeah. who doesn't realize yeah. or something. Yeah. I would argue that all of these are better than the actual. So what, Project Title. Reality? Project Reality, Dolphin. GameCube's the Dolphin, the Wii's the Revolution, and then <laughs> the Wii U, Project Cafe. Oh. <laughs> it was doomed to fail from the start. Yeah. I remember Sega used to have fucking awesome ones. Yeah. Either the Saturn or the Dreamcast was Katana. Oh, oh yeah. And the other one was like another sword. Yes. I think they were all like like samurai weapons. Oh, nice. That is actually cool. Yeah. Uh, and then they called it the fucking nice. Dreamcast. Mm. Because it casts your dreams yeah. onto the screen. Should call it Project Reality. I'm pretty sure Xbox was Project <laughs> X, or it was just right. like Direct well, Xbox. It was going to be called because Direct X was the 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 graphics yeah. um, software. Well, yeah. I mean, they're at the point now where their their console titles sound like code names. You know, the one yeah. the one S and all that sort of yeah. shit. Yeah. 360 like. was like Xenon or something. Yeah, I want to say. Uh, what were the ones for the PS4 and the Xbox One? They weren't that long ago. Looking all these up. Uh, Maverick. <laughs> PlayStation the, code names. 
The That's goops? funny for them to have code names when they just end up. Well, because yeah. the PSX was its code name, which is still yes. what people call it. Yeah, the right. Yeah, I still think of it as a PSX. That's yeah. what it always was in magazines yeah. and shit. Yeah. Here we go. Video game code names ranked. Which is stupid because it'd be like calling the Switch the NX still. Yeah, like, no, exactly. That's, that's just dumb. But then while the PS1 was alive until the PS2 existed, mm. it was officially called the PSX. Oh, right. That was the abbreviation for it. And PS1 right. only happened in like 99 or 2000 or something. Right. And they made that little small tiny one oh, yep. Yep. that you could attach a screen to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. PSVR was called Morpheus. Morpheus. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, Connect. What was that? Project Natal. That's oh, what I was thinking. Yes. Of. Yeah. 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 You got Scorpio. Scorpio. That was the one X. Yep. Um, yeah. The Dreamcast. White belt, katana, guppy, black belt, shark, dural. Right. So fish and swords. Yep. yep. My two favorite things. <laughs> the Game Boy. Ad- Can't find me. I'm either fishing or in my sword <laughs> shed. That's a, a sign you've got up on your yeah. front door. <laughs> Sorry, gone slashing. On your shed. <laughs> the sword and fish. It's a wonder they didn't call it the Sega getting a blowjob while hacking. Oh, oh sword yeah. fish the films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What if we do that? What if we're all getting blood jobs <laughs> for the episode? No, just and doing a normal episode. Oh, but we've got to we, do yeah, we've yeah. got to do it competently yes. still. Yes. But like some mob <laughs> bosses testing us for some reason. Uh, that was the first movie I ever like saw when I was underage and I wasn't meant to see. Like I stuck yeah, right. into Swordfish. Wow. Yeah. Was it rated R or something? It was or MA. MA? Yeah, it was right. MA, so it must have been fourteen. That's in that weird category of films where I've never seen it, but I I hear one specific scene from it re- reference all the time. It's yeah. not very good. Nah, yeah, John Tra- it's John Travolta at the height of his That's hamming, right. mm-hmm. like face off through get be cool yeah. or whatever or yeah. whatever that was around that sort of era. John Broken Tra- Arrow. There was a bunch of those mm. fucked ones. Battlefield yeah. Earth. Yes. Um, Game Boy Advance was called the Atlantis. The okay. Atari 400 was called Candy. We were called Nintendo 69. Mm. Yeah. That was our working title. Yeah. Which is now the title of our Patreon show. What if we did a whole episode just plugging the Patreon? People love plugs. Okay. Or like. Can't uh, play video games without plugs. That's very true. So. Yeah. Um, or we could like. Do a whole episode that's not really about video games as a plug for the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do more Nintendo speculation until we have to. To be honest, yeah, <laughs> I'm not interested in <laughs> really speculating something that probably doesn't exist at this point. Doing that for a whole for a whole one, oh boy, yeah. Because I don't know what'll happen in, in the future. If I knew that, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I'd be fucking you mean, not for the love of the craft. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but like. Do you, do you know that you know how in um, uh, that fantastic movie, The Big Short, at the end it says Christian Bale's character. <laughs> It'd be fantastic. It was a little bit shorter. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect length. And the <laughs> yes, the, he wants to invest in water. Exactly. Yes. And they're like so, and he guessed all the housing short stuff. So yep. he's investing in water now. Yes. If I was smart, yes, I'd be investing in whatever the thing to invest in was. My point is that if I knew the future, what? I'd make some money off of it. Right. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> That's just what I think I would do. So if you like... Or maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't be concerned about making money. I'd be growing vegetables or something in my garden or I'd, and I'd find a garden because That's I'd a be good, like, yes. I know that... Yeah. That's a good plot for a film. There's a guy that, for whatever reason, everyone knows that he's able to see the future. So this is right. proven. Yeah. yeah. And he's not rich. He hasn't gone and made bets. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like going, why, why don't you just, you know, why don't you just do that? Mm. You know, why don't you invest? Why don't you do all this stuff? You know, you could make millions mm. and he won't say. Yeah. And everyone's trying to work out, oh, fuck, what does he know? Oh. <laughs> At the end, it just turns out he's an idiot. <laughs> 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 like he knew all this stuff, but he just had no idea. Just lazy. Just <laughs> so <laughs> lazy. Just couldn't be fucked going down the shops <laughs> to get a Powerball ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it's just revealed like he they're splitting a bill at the end of the movie. And it's like, I'll just, I'll just add up my you know coffee and the sandwich. That's one um, plus three. Uh, so it's $6, I guess. Yeah. And then it just cuts to black. <laughs> <laughs> um, to what about... 204, mm-hmm. rearrange those numbers. What do you get? 024. Rearrange them again. 042. Rearrange them again. 402. <laughs> rearrange them again. 204. <laughs> no, that's the ori- original <laughs> one. Don't redo any. Rearrange them again. I'm out of ideas. Yeah. There's one more. <laughs> um, Maybe more than one. I don't know. I, c- I haven't kept track, but you haven't said the one I'm looking 422? for. 422? 
No, no close. You've used one of the numbers twice. I only oh, use I each number once. Yeah. So I, because of the zero, I don't feel like it counts. Four, four, four. Because <laughs> it's sort of not a no, number. No, you can't reuse numbers. I'm looking for a specific number here that's a, you know, number anagram of 204. Um, uh, 402. I, I did no. say that one. That was oh, the first sorry. one I said. Switch I two of those numbers and don't fuck with me. 306. <laughs> if you can't do three. It's 420. That's the one I was thinking of. What oh, if we've we been did, recording for ages. Uh, what if we did? What if we did a whole episode <laughs> where we pretended we were high? Okay. Okay. But Bruh. then the only problem with that is, what happens when we make it to episode four hundred and twenty? Ooh, we get even higher, bro. Yeah, we, we get, we get we twice rearrange, as high. Yeah. We rearrange those numbers. Ah, uh, we do the best two hundred and four games of all yeah. time. You yeah. double bake, bro. Yeah. Well, okay, so if we're doing four twenty, maybe we do it. We cater top ten to video <laughs> games for high people, yes, man. Exactly. Oh, that's yes. good. Number one, uh, just not even turning one on. <laughs> just Fuck. sitting there looking at your blank TV, being like, "Oh, the control is all the way over there, bro." Getting stuck in you going into hyperspace in one of the Star Wars games, so you're just constantly looking at whoa, dude, that screen. This cush is unbelievable. <laughs> I know the couch is comfy. Cush. I'm just looking at top 10 games to play when you're high or yes. stoned. Of course there's already lists. Yeah, of course. What are the top 10 oh, games? Hey, and it's asking me if I'm aged 18 or over. What's Ooh. the difference between high and stoned? No, there's no top difference. Ten, but it said top 10 games uh, to play if you're high or stoned. Oh, mm. you can be high on... Maybe st- you'd normally refer to being high on marijuana as stoned. But you can be high on other drugs. <laughs> Sound like a like a teacher at a religious school. You're asking me to <laughs> define two words, and you're doing it weirdly. <laughs> God says you shouldn't be smoking either. God made this plan because he fucked up once. What are the top ten? Well, okay, this is annoy- This is on an actual weed website. Cool, yeah, it's annoying because read them in a weed voice, <laughs> man. Weed oh, them man. out to us. Weed then- them out to us. That's good, man. <laughs> They're not all video games. I think like you just said it, but I like that. Okay, party games. That That's you fitting play. for our podcast. Shit, it's not always bro. about video. That's games. That's true. Yeah. So the first one is. Is strip- that because you didn't type in the words video game? <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> okay. Why is Jack Nicholson the <laughs> representative of stoned people? That's I'm- the thing about. <laughs> Boston. I guess he was an easy rider. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm dating Diane Keaton in this movie, okay. I believe. Okay. I'm so high. I thought she was Michael Keaton. <laughs> Bruh. I certainly hope this isn't as Boy. good as it gets. <laughs> uh, I'm really going in and out of this uh, impression, too. I, think it's re- I genuinely think it's very good. Yeah, it's a good impression. Yeah. It's so not... Relevant. Maybe if I do the eye, <laughs> the eyes really help it. Yeah, yeah. They, I gotta do the eyes. <laughs> You're gonna go do a gig after this. Yeah. I think I might come along. Can you do the whole set as Jack Nicholson? What's oh. up, everybody? I'm Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd give stand-up comedy a try for the first time. Yes, <laughs> please do it. You ever noticed how funny it is to have a lot of money? Okay. It's <sighs> what would he talk stand-up. about in stand-up? In stand-up, yeah, uh, good point. A lot of dirty jokes, right? Yeah. A yeah. lot of dirty, dirty street jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. A couple yeah. of racist ones. Racial stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so to lead with that. Uh, now. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't, um, <laughs> you heard what Donald Trump, the latest thing Donald Trump said. Mm. <laughs> he said that because of Vladimir Putin's dick in his mouth. Nice. I've won okay. an Oscar, probably. I don't <laughs> think. I don't. Th- I think Nicholson would be pretty right wing. Not Trump level right wing. He's a fucking actor. Ah. Uh, I don't know those guys from that era. Hey, look, man. you're free to do what you like, but I don't. I I wouldn't say it on tape <laughs> like that. If you if I buy you a pint at this gig, will you open with a little bit of Jack Nicholson? <laughs> I'm just getting a free pint off of that. That's all. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll do some Jack anyway. But I'm yeah, not okay. gonna, yeah. All right. So first one that they've got on here, not a video game, Strip Choker. Oh which, God! Yeah, <laughs> the fuck is that? They've really While come sitting, out of the gates. <laughs> yeah. While sitting in a circle, a bong or dab rig is passed around. Ah, uh, so it's a smoking game. Yeah. What is a dad rig? Other dab, than the way my body dab. looks, <laughs> uh, he's he's got in there first. A dab rig. Hey, you're pretty quick. <laughs> you need a riding job. <laughs> a dab rig. Oh, What's a dab that? rig. Yeah. I don't know. Is that the kind of body Hold you your hand? <laughs> <in> the- yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that it's like a vape thing. Yeah. 
Uh, each participant takes a hit. The only requirement is that you have to hold that hit in until the bong comes back around to you. Whoa. If any players don't or they cough and splutter between turns, an item of clothing comes off. Fuck, Fuck off. <laughs> That's great. Fuck. <laughs> oh, what, what a, a gnarly game. Bad sounding time. Yeah. All right, here we go. So that's number one. Number two, Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Limbo the game or no, Limbo no, the limbo go the, under a pole? No, no, no. Limbo the video game. The video game. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrifying, haunt, haunting yeah. fucking... Hey, guys, now that we've all sat in a circle and fucking nearly died, <laughs> do you want to turn on my Xbox 360? <laughs> nice. Play some Limbo? Take- oh, wait. Limbo. Which one was Limbo? Well, limbo was, was the, the first, first one. Before yeah. inside, yeah. Take turns to play. And remember, every time you fail a puzzle or die, it's time to take a toke. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I love an excuse to take a toke, bro. <laughs> and they're also suit- suitable for either Indica or s- Sativa strain. Indica yeah. and Sativa. Indica yeah. and Sativa. Please. Come on. Uh, right, I've got three. an actual lo- list of best video games to play when you're high if you want. No, I'm enjoying these. I'm enjoying All this right. gnarly this list. Mix. <laughs> Number three, Rock Band. Sure, yep. that's uh, just a good suggestion. Do high people like music? <laughs> is that something that they're known for? <laughs> yeah. No. This is what they say. Nothing screams good times like a stoner trying to sing Afro Man because I got high. While your mates try and play the remaining instruments. That oh. honestly, nothing screams, I want to leave this party now yeah. without saying goodbye to anybody. That well, sounds like a scene from one of the scary movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone that fails the song or loses timing through laughter has to take a draw from their joint. Boy, yes. They're really expecting that to be more fun than it'll be. Mm. Um, okay. Number six, Mario Kart 64. Mm. I mean, that's, you know. Sure. sure. That's a gimme. Yep. Number eight. Okay, here we go. I actually drive better when I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Skyrim. <laughs> Love to be in a big group playing a bit Man, of Skyrim. That's a fucking dragon, dude. Oh my god. You have to take a hit every time you see a dragon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How did I know that was gonna be what it was? <laughs> <laughs> This sucks. Literally chasing the dream. And then number 10, Grand Theft Auto. All right, whatever. Yeah. Because of the funny uh, parody in it. You laugh even more when you're Well, let's certainly not do that one then. No, that's an awful idea. Um, Well... There was that E3 thing. Oh, yeah. Yes. The, they're yeah. like making their show weird. Yes. We could try and uh, make something as like a new venture to, com- to compete with E3. Right. So what's Four the thing? years. We've got staying power. Yes. yes. What's uh, the thing that they're doing there? Opening it. Way more tickets, right? Mate, way more like general. Uh, the The... The mission. only thing that it, I remember from it was what do they call it? Entertainment. Yes. Like yes. line line entertainment, like things to entertain you while you're in a line. Okay. Yeah. You know, in a big queue for to play a game. Like, yeah, it's going to be more consumer focused. Right. So it's going to be worse. Big in boom in the of, number of people. Yeah. That are going to be able to get in from the public. But like that'll mean the the interesting thing for everyone about E3 is the press coverage of it, yep. which will be harder to do right. if there's a million fucking people there getting queue to attainment. Yeah. If they're being line to attained while you're trying to get to a meeting, <laughs> you know, like, uh, and I don't know what that means. It's probably people wearing fucking Master Chief costumes or whatever. They're being like, oh, hey, citizen, <laughs> or whatever. That's yep. not what he says, but... <laughs> So I'll I'll read you some Has information. Has anyone seen Cortana? The Entertainment Software Association is reportedly considering an overhaul of E3 that would possibly turn E3 2020 into a fan media and influencer festival. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's the yes, worst sentence I've ever heard. Fuck. Oh. Uh, read it one more time for me again. It's like I'll, I'll, I'll continue reading. No, I want to hear just that last little phrase again. That would possibly turn E3 2020 into a fan. Media and Influencer Festival. Hell yeah. Mm. As all three. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to commend them on their cue entertainment. How dirty would you be if you're like, you're a games journalist and have been for many, many years. You know, you've worked at whatever, IGN for like a decade. Yep. You remember the you, you remember the heyday? Mm, the halcyon days. When it really, really mattered. And it's like always been a brutal week because yeah. there's a lot of, you know, it's long hours, a lot of stress, a lot of lining up. And now you read this and you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like yeah. just, and also being lumped in with like 
Yeah, you and the influencers. So just gotcha, rubbing under shoulders. Those <laughs> fucking like phone holder extender things. Yeah. A big line of them. So blah blah blah. There seems to be an overhaul of E three that will turn it into a fan event that uses celebrities and influencers as attractions that are equal to or perhaps even greater than the games themselves. Wow. <sighs> Good lord. Terry Crews in Crackdown. Mm-hmm. Hooray! <laughs> I mean, like, they have done that shit before. There was that one year where after, it would have been, I guess, 2016, mm. um, after the show, the EA, like, press conference, they had um, uh, a thing on their stream that was, like, a bunch of celebrities coming to play Battlefield 1, and mm-hmm. it was, like, Snoop Dogg. That's and, right. Like, Zac Efron and all these yes. people who were all clearly really high. Yeah, they were, weren't they? They were off their fucking faces. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> Why I- is Jack reporting this? <laughs> he was hard. one of the celebs. <laughs> uh, it's like, Snoop Dogg was just smoking was weed there, and stuff. man. <laughs> it, it was, like, fucking Emily Ratajkowski looking at Battlefield 1 being like, yeah. well, uh, mm-hmm. uh, this isn't, I, I'm not. Yeah, I got dragged along here by Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the booths could seemingly contain everything from act- actors and influencers competing in games to athletes playing sports titles. Fuck. Yeah. It is a shame because it's like part of the dream, and I think you know we're just among friends here. No one's observing this conversation. Yes. Yeah. But I, I feel like I speak for all of us. We're not it's recording like, yet while we hold these microphones up to our mouths. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're just practicing. Yeah. For but what it's going to be like. record we'll be... when we're ready to go. Yeah, Obviously. yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, Kind of, I guess, the dream of doing the show was that, hey, maybe one day we could go to LA. And yeah, we could go to, yeah. And we could go to E3. Yeah. La la That'd be land. cool for the show. Yeah. Yeah. A, fulfilling a childhood dream. Yes. And it's like, I guess that'd still be cool just for the like, Bucket listing thing of saying you've gone, but like, mm. man, oh man, it'd be rough stuff yeah. now. Yeah, I, like when I was a kid, I wanted to meet Robin Williams, but I don't want to meet his corpse now. <laughs> and it's the same thing. I don't want to let you know E three's dead. Yeah, I don't want to go there now. So yeah. let's let's. Uh, we'll, talk- we'll definitely go next year. <laughs> with me having said that. <laughs> so, uh, per this article, quote: Here's where things get really dark. Mm-hmm. It seems the proposed plan... One person at random will be killed each day. <laughs> <laughs> they turn off the lights. It seems that the proposed plan <laughs> suggests promoting something known as cute-attainment. Cute-attainment. Yeah. Cute-attainment. <laughs> not even line-attainment. Yeah. That sounds way closer. Yeah. Cute-attainment. Which, which will not only allow vendors to market directly to people waiting in line... It, oh, well, that boy. would be enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, what more could they possibly add to my cute-attainment? <laughs> but even have access to consumer data captured through the app... Wow. ...or have a captive audience as people wait in line for demos. So they are specifically marketing to people waiting in line. <laughs> yeah. The future of advertising is locking people in a box yeah. and yelling... The words LG at them. Yeah, I love the idea words, of like letters. <laughs> I love them framing it with the name like it's like, hey, you know, we're aware that it's like waiting in lines really sucks, mm. and we're really thinking about this. We're trying to make mm. life better for you. And then it's like you read into it, and it's like pure commerce, like yeah. just yeah. brutal, like not even trying to mask it. Like we are going to absorb your data. You want to be cute entertained? Yeah. Here's somebody showing you a new Logitech mouse. Oh. Are you not cute entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Is this not what you quanted? <laughs> Are you not cute attained? <laughs> My name is Quaximus Quilimilius. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's that's so depressing. <laughs> Fuck. Imagine, and those tickets will cost like fucking hundreds of dollars. Yeah, oh, yeah. extra ten thousand for uh, punters. Yeah, right. General That's people to so go many along. people. Yes, it is ten thousand three hundred dollar tickets, whatever yeah. they are. Yep, and them all standing in line, getting yeah. fucking you know ASUS t shirts thrown at them. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah, and like to what get to play this game that just got announced, and what do you get? Like five minutes with yeah. it. Uh, what, what, about 15, this? what about this, though? Like packs, you get about that. Dr. Asus. Dr. Asus? <laughs> yeah, what about that? Uh, there's a weatherboard in my motherboard. You're very nice. That's all yeah. I wanted. <laughs> uh, so we, if we're going to make our own festival. Our own yeah. E3 competitor, because E3 is clearly on a, on the ropes. Yeah. We'd I have mean, to collect a lot of very specific data about people, I think, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like when they buy the tickets, so we know exactly what to market to them. So are we trying to... What about when they're in the queues? They'll be bored. They'll be quored. I mean, they... Quora, that's what it means. Quora. Yeah, Bora. Um, the Explorer. <laughs> 
Because are we looking at this as, okay, this is just what things <laughs> are now? Quora the Explorer is really funny. Her going like, wow, what's that? And it being like, actually, it's a tree. You don't uh, actually know. That's the wrong question. You actually can't get an answer to that. Yeah, John from Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. answer wasn't helpful. Yeah. Um, are, we, are we viewing this as like, okay, we have to try and beat them at their game mm-hmm. currently, mm-hmm. in which case we're just trying to make ours similarly fucked but in a different way? Right. Or are we going... You know what? We're we're you know, we're doing the new original E three. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh. So as like a throwback to like what it was yes. in the I late nineties. We've got to do a middle ground to make it good. Because mm. old E three, bad in other ways. Yeah. More booth babes than now. That's true. Okay. Don't want to have the booth babes. Yep. It's the what original about? cute attainment in many yeah. ways. Yeah. It, yeah, I guess so. They were all cute. Yeah. <sighs> What about, what's the opposite of a booth babe? An open field ugly person. <laughs> farmers, okay. right? We, yeah. <laughs> we get some work for the farmers. There's for some those struggling farmers. farmers. Yeah. I, th- I think yeah, most farmers are hot, to be honest. Okay. something about the rugged fucking mm-hmm. farmer lifestyle yep. Yep. that yep. I'm into. Okay. Well, we just find the fat fugly ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We I'll vet do them. it. Uh, well, they're not animals. We don't need to vet them. Very. We doctor them. Yeah. Uh, you vet their... The things that they breed. The cows. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I get, what would we want out of? Yeah. Uh, should we just make the perfect I festival? I want it to be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No lines, just slides. It's digital. <laughs> what? Then there's no lines. Uh, no, there's still like buffering. Every, anytime you buy a ticket yeah, on Ticket Tech, there's all those fucking lines. Apart. That's yeah. actually like that. awesome. If we got to a point where E3 happens, yeah. yes. live streaming presentation, mm-hmm. and then it's like, Hey, turn on your console now and you everyone in the world can minutes. play this demo for 15 minutes. Oh. What about like Google Stadia or something that is a streaming thing so they'll have the mm-hmm. they they should hypothetically have the resources yeah. to do yeah. that. Yeah. That would be incredible. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> we'll build the world's get, largest get infrastructure. Mis- everyone watching yeah. this, we're sending a fat, ugly farm around to your house to stand <laughs> in your living room while yes. you play this demo. Yeah. <laughs> Hand out lanyards with uh, Master Chief printed on them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'd be the way to do I don't know. I don't like... Uh, there's no way to do a big live thing mm. like that mm. that isn't in some way heaps of people being around, which intrinsically makes it bad. Yeah. 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 That's true. Uh, so what about um, you do it sort of all the time and you just have like places where you can go sort of at any time in a, your, your city yeah. and you can like look at some games and, you know, maybe you can play one of them and if you like them, you can buy them and take them home from there. Yeah, okay. Um, and it's sort of like there's one in every shopping centre maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like a, like an enjoy then buy system. Yeah. Like yes. you could shorten that to EB or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's games. It's enjoy buy games. Yeah. Right. Well, enjoy buy. I don't want to just have it as simple be games. So it could be like games and uh, magazines. Sure, um, yeah. Um Xboxes, which obviously starts with an E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Systems. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So E B and then you'd shorten it to games. <laughs> Did you say and for the A? Yes. I reckon say amiibo instead. Amiibo. Because <laughs> that's where you get amiibo. Well, and E would just be like extraneous crap. <laughs> but what, sure. what sort of what you're suggesting, you know, I'm a little bit snooty, you know, I'm a bit of a right. snob. I've, and the way that I have you're, noticed that about the you. The way that you're describing this, it sounds like it's gonna be a bit, you know, a bit dirty, a bit a, a place that the commoners might hang out. Yeah. I'd like this to have a bit more of an upmarket feel yes. to it. You know, some kind yes. of a bit of a boutique, so to speak. You oh, know, I'd like this to feel like, you know, Givenchy or, <laughs> yes. you know, like a <laughs> high end. What does Givenchy Vis- mean? Or, uh, you yeah. know, somewhere like that. <laughs> yeah. Wives St. Laurent. <laughs> yeah, these high end sort <laughs> yeah, of stores, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, know what you're ta- I know what you're doing yeah. now. <laughs> Giorgio. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony Giorgio <laughs> I'll say this Not intentionally at first <laughs> Giorgio was the card game I used to play <laughs> yeah. Nice Well we'd better start the episode soon Because we've been talking for I don't know 15 minutes or something Yeah right yeah. I don't feel like we actually have an idea yet It's been a couple of mm. minutes um, Fuck I don't know Why don't you just talk about Borderlands yeah, I, I can. Guess. I've played a bunch of Borderlands. Yeah. Yeah. I think people will be annoyed if they have to wait another week to hear about what I think of Borderlands. We can like just talk about game. that Nintendo Direct again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk about all of the ports yeah, that are coming out. So maybe true. we just do a deep dive on all of them. Yeah. yeah. 
Just so that you know what I think of Borderlands ahead of the episode oh, yeah. as well. Uh, it's fine. It's more Borderlands. Right. Okay. okay. It doesn't run that well. And yeah. Randy Pitchford's weird, which makes me feel weird about this. But heaps of other people worked on it too. Yes. So mm-hmm. It's fine. Uh, yeah, more Borderlands. I guess if we were going to do it, I just want to make sure. Like I've a gimmick got, episode. Yeah. Mm. Or, or like, um, you know, it's a proper celebratory episode. I'd want to thank people like... Um, uh, like James Lynch, Matthew C.W., Luke, Tabs, Indiana, Matt Finger, Dullard, Bounds, Joshua, Josh, all the Davids. Giorgio. All the <laughs> Giorgio, all the Michaels, all the Jacks, all the Chrises, Russell, Geraldine, Tyler, uh, Big Tiggs, Reed, Courtney, Elvis, Bailey, uh, the other Alex, Jewel, Zach, um, Sean, Gideon. Just, you know, I want to thank those people Squirter, Philippa, Abby. Our producers and management team. Y- yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. The people who are pulling the strings behind yeah. the scenes. Our, our cute attainment team. <laughs> yes. Uh, people like that. Yeah. Um, so if if I uh, forget to do that, just remind me. Yeah. But um, when we actually do the episode. Mm. Sure. Um all right. Well, we're well, about to do it. We're about to go yeah. into 204. Yeah. Feels good. We'd better fire up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually kind of exhausted from talking about all those ideas. Yeah. Mm. What if we just go in like with a vague idea of what we'll do and see if we can kind of make up some ideas along the way. I think that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't pan out, would it? All right. Well, I'm going to hit record now and then we'll be actually recording. So, you guys ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. Good. Good.